For anyone who isn't yet vegan, it can seem like an unattainable lifestyle. We've been raised to eat animals and most of us have become addicted to their taste. When an action has been repeatedly normalised, it can feel impossible changing to something else. But being vegan in itself is easy. Veganism is just about not exploiting and consuming animals. After a few weeks of experimenting with new foods and products, new habits form and it becomes effortless. We discover new tastes and recipes we hadn't tried before, find vegan versions of our favourite meals, and most of the time we find a whole new appreciation for food and nutrition and love it more than we ever had before. The real difficulty in being vegan doesn't involve food. The hardest part about being vegan is coming face to face with the darker side of humanity and trying to remain hopeful. It's trying to understand why otherwise good and caring people continue to participate in needless violence against animals just for the sake of their pleasure or convenience. When you first discover veganism, you have to deal with the fact that you've been lied to most of your life. You have to accept that as you were growing up, the people you thought you could trust stole your compassion and taught you that it was okay to harm others. They corrupted your mind without you realising and gave you justifications to stop you from thinking about it. And you have to realise that the adverts that made you smile and laugh were just tricking you into giving them money for products that make you sick and destroy the planet. You have to deal with the fact that they used happy cartoons and loving slogans to sell tortured, slaughtered animals. And you fell for it. And when you start to realise this, you naively think that you've discovered a secret that the world needs to hear. So you do everything you can to share the new truths you've learned. You tell everyone you know about veganism, hoping they'll understand and change like you did when you made the connection. But they don't. They give you excuses that don't make sense and refuse to listen to reason. You find your family and closest friends defending animal abuse because they're too scared to change, and you don't know how to react to their indifference. You're trying to help them and help innocent animals, but they accuse you of attacking them and become defensive every time you talk about veganism. You have arguments and start to lose respect for those you love the most, and you become isolated. You can't stop thinking about the images of animals being queued up to be systematically slaughtered. You feel so powerless and just wish people would listen. And at the same time, the people around you start to mock you and ridicule you for being different. They make insensitive jokes and you do your best to see the funny side of what they're saying. Then come home and realise that they were laughing about animal abuse as if it was acceptable. It's been said that enlightenment is bittersweet. Because on one hand it is wonderful to know the truth, live the truth and share the truth. But it is also maddening to realise how cruel and ignorant our species can be. But that's not a reason to shy away from doing what's right. All throughout time the ones on the right side of justice have always faced resistance. But it's always been worth it. Because what is the hardest part about being vegan is also the most rewarding part. The longer you're vegan, you find better ways of explaining it to others and sooner or later someone will listen. And more people will open up and listen to what you have to say. And people you thought you'd never get through to will thank you for changing their life. The seeds you planted from the beginning will start to grow and you'll understand the importance of patience and persistence. You'll find other vegans and learn to love humanity again, realising that there are good people out there. But through the process of letting go, you welcome so many beautiful people into your life who share more in common with you. And as hard as it is to move on from the past, you become happier in the long run. And it gives you a reason to get up every day. It's no longer just about you. Veganism teaches you to look beyond yourself and think about others. And through your activism, you learn to never apologise for speaking up. Because if you're right and you know it, you have to speak up. Even if you're just one person against the whole world, the truth is still the truth. Exposing the lies and injustice becomes your purpose, and you become such a shining version of yourself that you inspire others around you without even trying. You inspire compassion through your fearlessness and uncompromising passion to make the world less selfish. And the best lesson you'll ever learn is that life's not about feeling amazing all the time. It's about accepting the pain and fear and doing something anyway. Not because you want to, but because you have to. There's so much evil on this planet, but that shouldn't make us sad. 
It should make us desperate to help. Because this is not some mundane diet choice. This is the difference between enslavement and freedom, between torture and peace, between death and life. This is serious and you understand it and you are a part of this revolution. The people that think veganism is hard are thinking about themselves and the people that think veganism is easy are thinking about the animals. So if you think it's hard to not eat meat, think how hard it is for them that you do eat meat.